EtherGazer have been live for a little over a year now, and the number of new administrators joining the fight is growing daily. A common question amongst our new admins is, just how much shifted stars can I earn per month as a free-to-play? And so, in this video, I hope to answer that question for you. Our first few stars will be coming from our daily missions. These will net you 40 stars per day for a total of 280 per week. Next up is our weekly missions, and these are crucial for us free-to-play players. There are five missions in total, and each one will reward you with 200 stars for a total of 1,000 per week. Recurring Dreams is up next and is one free-to-play players are going to want to clear every week. Not only will it net 400 stars per week, but you will also earn Morphium Crystal, which will allow you to rank up standard banner 5 stars to double S for free. From here, we have Dimensional Variables. This mode have a longer reset cycle than our weekly modes being able to clear it only once per month, but it will net you 1600 on completion. From the basic battle pass, we can earn five regular scans and one precise scan, which translates to 1200 stars per month. We can get 400 from the monthly login rewards, 200 for the limited sign and bonuses. We currently have two of those in play, but I'll only count one because not every patch might have two active at the same time. This adds up to 10,120 stars per month. All of the sources we just mentioned are guaranteed sources and can be grind every month, but there are several other ways to earn stars outside of that. New story missions will always net you some stars. You can rerun them on hard mode for even more. After completing story missions, be sure to check your gallery tab for some extra stars. Causality surveys will also net you a good amount of stars. They can be pretty boring, so bring some coffee. Past grudges might make you rage quit if you are under level, but trust me, it's worth it. There are a ton of stars to be gained here. Each stage completion will net you 490 stars, and there are a bunch of them with more to be added. Five-star character trials will also net you 30 stars each, and we usually have multiple S ranks up per patch. New character tutorial completions will net you 30 each. The modifier gift pack B gives a free precise scan per patch, which translates to 200 stars. The amount of stars we get from maintenance varies, but we can expect to get some from there once per version update. Achievements will net you a couple stars here and there, as well as the missions in your study guide. Heartlink stories are few in between, but will net you a couple stars. The surveys will net you anywhere from 100 to 200 stars when they are active. Last but certainly not least, events are often just absolutely loaded with stars and are a primary way for all players to earn stars. When you take all this into consideration, I'm pretty sure we get close to 14,000 stars per month, if not more. Now, I want to take the rest of the time we have left to give some advice to my free-to-play legends out there. First and foremost, I am a strong believer of the waifu over meta philosophy. If having a character, regardless of their strength, will enhance your enjoyment of the game, by all means, mm -hmm. go for them. You got something you need me to handle under the table? Second, do not get baited into pouring all of your stars into a single character because someone said they needed their functor or be at double S rank to be viable. There is nothing wrong with that if you make that decision on your own, just don't let others make that choice for you. As a free-to-play player, getting more shifted stars is your end game. And I can tell you guys right now, you won't miss out on any stars for using base S rank modifiers or their free-to-play gen zone functors. And lastly, if you're unsure about something, just ask around. Being a year behind CN is a big W for us here on Global. We know what units are coming and can better prepare than our CN brothers and sisters. There are also several content creator covering both versions, so if you have questions, just ask around. All right then, I think we are done here. I wanted to keep this short and to the point, so hopefully you found this useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask. <laughs> Kimo ni meiji te okane ba.